Vancouver, we have made it to BC. By we, I mean we. Hey, buddy. I actually just got here. I'm meeting this date bar that they left me. I'll show you the protein bar on the um, plane. So it's been a day full of bars. The car that I have rented is for three weeks. It's literally going to be pretty much our second home. Actually, our only home um, for the next three weeks because we're going to go from Vancouver to Kelowna. Then we're going camping in the mountains, and then we're going to Banff. It's going to be. It's going to be a fun fun crazy trip. I'm gonna break this vlog up into two parts. So this is part one. So far we've just checked into the hotel. We are at the Fairmont. You guys saw the beautiful view we have and we're right on the waterfront. So I wanna go for a run because it's so, like the air here is so, oh, it's so like crisp and just beautiful. So gonna go for a run and just kinda take the day as it comes. I didn't realize we'd be here as early as we were. So, and I still actually have a lot of work to do. So I'm thinking that today I just kinda wanna relax, ease into it, explore Vancouver a bit, get some work done, kinda go from there. After I eat the shade bar and of course drink my coffee. Guys, I can't get over this view. What? Take a seat, I hope you guys are drinking something comforting. And welcome to our next puppy adventure of the Rocky Mountains. Let's go pick up our car. Spark a light, you caught my heart on fire. Dark eyes, no lies, they grip me with desire. You Buddy update, Vancouver. You're so beautiful. But damn, that was euphoric. Three hours later. So, I mean, realistically, I have a lot of things going on tomorrow and the next day. I've been planning out my weekend here in Vancouver and I'm so, so excited. When trying to decide what to do tonight, there is a heap load of work I need to get done. I need to get it done before Sunday, but I'm thinking like, you know what? Traveled all morning. I went out and explored Vancouver today. A run, the car, and I just like, I'm also like two rosés deep right now because I was downstairs working on my computer and then I was like, what to do? I came back up to the room to let Bentley out and feed him and then I was just like, you know what? I just wanna hang out with Bentley. I just wanna be with you. I'm feeling a little fuzzy. Side note, Lululemon sent me donuts to my room, which are on their way. This one's really calling my name, I'm not gonna lie. It's like a fritter. Mmm. Alright, we're trying them all. What's this one? Some type of hibiscus something? Oh. This one looks like very interesting. Got some pink on there. Very, very lemon. Okay. Guys, smell of this. It's 
just so normal. Do the work I have to do tonight and then the rest of this weekend I can just be as weird and fun and whatever as possible before we venture off to Kelowna. That's the plan, right? Is that our plan? God, I should not have had that second rose. Tomorrow. I'm on the hunt, no one It is day two, well technically day one because it's the first day waking up in Vancouver, but it's technically the second day. I just finished getting ready. I spent, not gonna lie, almost the mass majority of this day uh, working on some catcher stuff. Woke up at literally 4.45 because I'm used to being three hours before the time here. And so Bentley and I went and checked out the sunrise, which you guys saw. Then I literally sat down with a latte, worked on my computer, relocated to this, what was that place called? Um, tractor? Tractor? Why do I want to call it tractor? I think it was tractor. Relocated to tractor, got some avocado toast for breakfast, and uh, just had literally been working on some catcher related stuff all day. But I just posted the playlist. You guys are loving it. I'm loving it. I've been dancing to it. And it's just. Uh, dialing it back to today, I just finished getting ready. I'm wearing this top and some capri leggings, which my foot is just casually up on the table. I'm gonna take Bentley for a quick little walk and then we're gonna go meet up with Carissa. If you guys know who Carissa Pukas is, she is another YouTuber and her and I have been chatting all day and I'm just super excited to spend the night just kind of like detoxing with her. We're gonna head over to her house and snack on some vegan pizza, hang out with the dogs, and then tomorrow we're hanging out too. We're gonna, we're gonna bike around. She's gonna give me the good old tour of Vancouver since I feel like I've literally had my head down on my laptop since I've been here, but that's okay because there's three weeks of BC to see. So that said, let's wrap it on down. Go for a walk. Yeah, you wanna go for a walk? Okay, let's go. Do you show this in your videos? That you made a staff? I feel like you should. Isn't it great? Stuff. Look at the staff that she made. It My Little Pony staff. Oh my god! Isn't it cool? That's so cool! It's so, so you made that? You put all the sparkles and stuff on? Oh my god, look at the detail on my melting. You, oh my god! Isn't it sick? I want a staff, can you make me a staff? Yeah. Guys, look at Lululemon just sent. This is so cool! They hooked us up. Look at they even got stuff for Bentley. This is like, elephants are our favorite. Okay, what else do we got in here? Scrunchies! I'm obsessed. This is not for you. What do we got? A gift card, and they said that this place is really good. It's a vegan restaurant. And Chris and I are actually gonna go tomorrow. This is so nice. Oh my god. You got more toys! <laughs> Guys, there's a black one. This is like Christmas. Bentley, they got you treats! <gasps> a gray one! And this one, along with these ones. These are all from Lululemon. And now I have three more. What else do we got, bub? Oh my god. Holy mackerel. Look at how beautiful this print is. What the hell? Oh my god. Oh my... I truly can't right now. <sighs> okay, ghost. Not cool. What else do we got here? This is like, this is the best. This is the best. Okay, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go cry now. Between that and the donuts, I feel, I feel blessed. I'm probably gonna wear a lot of that stuff between this vlog and the next one, so you guys will get full on, just like full on views of that. <gasps> Today was such a good day. <sighs> Thank you, little lemon. One, two, time to go to bed, because three, we're gonna wake up and we are going to explore Vancouver. Finally, the right way, aka by bike with Carissa.
11 getting close to 11 Bentley and I are gonna leave for Kelowna in about an hour I, I hung out with Carissa until pretty late last night got back home uh, Journaled I had such a good journal session last night like I just mm, Vancouver was such a perfect transition from like Toronto City to like mountains You know, this is like Vancouver's like mountains and city like I'm, I'm looking at mountains while I look at city. So, so I woke up this morning, it's my last and final like morning, I guess you could say, in Vancouver, went for a run and uh, showered, just went downstairs to grab a latte for breakfast, I'm gonna eat it with my protein bar. Guys, they had a watermelon ukulele. I've been wanting to get a ukulele for so long and I saw it and it's a watermelon and Nothing has just made more sense for six plus years, which is hilarious because apparently I'm six. That's how my morning started. What a great, what a great way to end the Vancouver trip. The food you guys saw from last night was at this place called Meat in Gastown, which huge thank you to Lululemon for the gift card. It literally covered our dinner. It was, it was, it was the most amazing, like I've never had a bowl taste that good in my life. And uh, we also went to this other place called Heir, heirloom heir, heirloom and that was also really good so I've been I've been getting some good vegan food since I've been here but I'm definitely excited to go to Kelowna because Bentley and I are staying in like these little cottages and they have little kitchens so I'm gonna pick up groceries today cook a good ass meal tonight and just yes like I said I feel like Vancouver was such a good transition from Toronto into this trip because I really want kind of like the next week and a half of me traveling with just Benners and before I go to the island and I'm with my family the very last week that I'm here I really just want to get into the mountains I want to meditate I just want to do yoga I want to like kind of process everything going on process everything that's happened this year process catcher and prep because the minute I get back it's literally go hard for youtuber and everything happening at the end of this year so this has been such a good like this I don't know I think everything happens for a reason and this trip is definitely happening for a reason and it's something that I don't think I'll fully understand till the end of it kindling spark of it at the very beginning Let me just pop this open while we have our live chat I'm going to do a little bit of editing dunk my protein bar in my latte because it's the way to do it pack up our car and then we're gonna hit the road to Kelowna ukulele and tow I've been leaving voicemails I wish that they would cut me off the wrong things just so no when to stop but you've been leaving love notes potions and forget me knots your best friend said you liked me now I can get you out of my thoughts so say it to my face you spit it out cause I'm on here to the song I wanna hear when you're around just tell me what you're thinking about I just wanna hold your hand don't you understand it's all I ever wanted so are you in or are you out are we gonna be it's all I ever wanted I've been dropping hints now based on what good morning and welcome to day five of our trip is it day five already is it day five already is it day five I just woke up and um, made myself some coffee, got a little bit ready, because I'm about to head to a vegan farm. Got to Kelowna yesterday, didn't give you guys a verbal update, but basically just went to this place called Naked Cafe um, after checking in here, and then had probably one of the best bowls that I think I've ever had in my life. Back here, did a ton of yoga, and kind of like spruced up like my, my my Airbnb, I like made it my own. Last night, Bentley and I went down to the bottom of the dock here and the stars, the only thing is, we'll get to this, but the only thing is is that my, like the cabin I have, there's like a, a row of us, right? So the cabin I have, it's like, it's like, it's like the one that they like didn't 
do work on so my patio is just like messed so i got this crazy idea last night that i'm gonna do a spin-off video while here and it's going to be me pimping out my airbnb outdoor style it won't be live by the time you guys see this vlog but know that it is in the works it is being edited and i'll show you guys the after after we go to the farm welcome to Kelowna. welcome to the second destination of this bc trip now let's go Let's go see some some little animals and some some vegan farm stuff. It's supposed to be really hot today, so wish me luck and lots of water. Cause I know you've got a lot on your plate and oh my gosh, she's so cute. Hi, Miss Piggy. Mama wants. She had four babies. And I know you never catch any breaks, and I feel the same way. I'm not at my best now. Stressed out, obsessive, compulsive, pulling my hair out in bunches. Just try to breathe slow, make both of your lungs fall. I'll follow my heart to be wherever you are. I could just hold you here forever. Hold you. So I ended up not updating you guys yesterday just because I was having such a day. Yesterday was a huge write-off. I was trying to get catcher up and there was just like, I'm not going to dwell on it, but there was so many complications and I ended up using my hotspot for like six hours and then driving into town when I realized that the hotspot was literally going to sewer my phone bill. Ended up at a Starbucks, still couldn't get it up, but I got a new video up, so that made me kind of happy. And I didn't want to update you guys being in that energy or in that mindset, knowing that it would translate to you guys. So here I am, the last day here in Kelowna. Bentley and I actually just packed up. All of our stuff is completely packed and gone. I had to like revert this cabin back to how it looked before I came here. And I just packed up the SUV. We're about to head now to this place called Golden. It's really close to Banff and we're going camping. That said though, I'm gonna split these vlogs into two, potentially even three. So this is going to end the first part of my BC adventure, you know, Vancouver and Kelowna, which has been Oddly, it feels like the perfect beginning to like a three-piece series as to this adventure I feel like I'm on. I feel like Vancouver was like a perfect transition from city to mountains because it was city and mountains. And then Kelowna was like a perfect transition from city mountains to just straight up mountains because now I'm literally heading into the mountains to camp. And even just since I've been here, I think it's, I'm on, I've been gone a week now. I feel like I'm only beginning to feel the the start of just like a big transformational like trip you know I just feel like emotionally and mentally I've been really processing a lot on this trip really I don't know just having a lot of realizations and doing a lot of yoga and meditation and it has been life-altering to which I will keep you guys updated in the very very last part of this entire series the BC trip series because I've been journaling a lot about it too but I don't want to like I don't want to speak about it too soon in case I have like more you know, realizations along the way. But just know that this trip has been a very soulful journey. <laughs> so with that, we are gonna pack up. I made myself a lunch with all my leftover food so that I can eat in the woods tonight. Time to stock up the car and make our trip. It's about four hours from here, so <laughs> we've got a decent day ahead of us. I hope you guys enjoyed exploring the first part of BC with me, Vancouver slash Kelowna. I will leave the places I stayed down below if you guys are curious. Maybe you just want to come chill in my outdoor space. And other than that, I love you guys to the stars and back, to which we're going to go lay under some tonight. And I will see all of you guys in part two, where you will get to visually see that. <laughs> and I'll update you more on the life epiphanies I'm having. Okay? Sounds good? Sounds like a plan. Bye guys. Tie me up again Who's got the call?